Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on another DOM lab in Portswear's Web Security Academy. This time it's a DOM based open redirection. The lab contains an open redirection vulnerability. Solve this vulnerability, redirect the victim to the exploit server. Sweet, let's get started. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. I would appreciate that. So we're not using web messages, so I can't find it as easily as I did with the last ones. Let's view page source and start looking for anything suspicious. I don't see anything here. Let's open up one of the posts. And do the same. Post comment, input pattern. Ooh, right here. So, is link back. href, on click, return URL equals dot exec location. So this is a reg regular expression. So it's executing this on what's in location and saving that as return URL. And then it's saying if this has a value, location.href equals. So let me take this to this make it a little clearer. So let's go to here. I'm gonna open up Kate, paste that, and let's start this up. So that's a complete statement. And then let's do this. All right, there we go. That makes it a little bit easier to read, I think. So we run this regex on the value in location and save the results as return URL. So if return URL has a value, then we're going to set the location.href to the capture group, which would be this part in between the parentheses, else the first one, or else location.href equals um, forward slash, which would just be the home. So in, to exploit this and redirect the them to the exploit server, we should just, because this is only checking for HTTP or HTTPS, that's the question marks. It says the previous character, which is the S, uh, isn't required, can be not there or there. We should be able to visit a post page and put URL equals HTTPS and then the exploit server, which let's go open a new tab get that it would be this right you probably want I don't know yeah probably want the slash exploit and not just the bear but I don't know if that matters really so that should be it If we can get the the them to visit this. All right, so what I pro we probably need to do this in an iframe, right? Iframe source equals 
and then we can give it this doesn't matter on load no do we want that or do we just how do we or we can just do ampersand URL equals this right so I think this would work uh, let's double check that I understood this part well enough and let's put in a different URL here like www.google.com let's do that so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go boom ampersand paste boom and then when I click this back to blog I should be transferred to Google let's do it yeah all right um, so this is what we're looking to do I think this iframe is the way to go so let's do that okay so I'm gonna do um, call this what Dom open redirection vim well we're in the Dom directory so I'm gonna just call it vim open redirection dot pi grab our template it is a blog um, we want to post the exploit which I think is just post exploit they yep. post exploit response body okay so we can do the same as we've done a bunch payload equals blog dot post exploit response body equals payload blog dot is solved in the payload we're going to change this to single quotes because we have a lot of double quotes you know we probably we can we maybe even let's look at our cheat sheet because I'm thinking the delivery we can probably just use this one too script location equals URL because we don't need an on hash change let's try it so instead of that we're gonna do script location equals um, single quote single quote script and then all of this that looks good to me all of this may need to be URL encoded does it matter no it would matter if any of these characters had a question mark or ampersand none of those highlighted characters are so we should be fine okay so let's copy that and put it instead as our payload D T single quote okay we've got this Oh, and this uses oh, we'll put double quotes there and there and that are we gonna oh, whatever we can put this all on one line whoops to get rid of the line too long error in Python 
we can put it all on one line and then do our trick with the parentheses. Find a spot, which I guess will be here. Find another spot, which I guess will be here. <laughs> terrible, terrible spots that make no sense. But what can I say? Okay. The only other thing we need to do, we do need S strings, right? Because we don't want to code this in. We want this one to be uh, blog.base URL. And this one, let me join this back. to be the exploit URL. Blog dot, I don't know if it's exploit URL. We'll check that. With that, we can put it all on one line. Let's uh, check if it exploit URL is correct. I don't see it there. Where does get exploit URL? Oh, dang. So, and I don't return anything here. But I do run... Why don't I do self.exploitURL there, add it up here as set to none... So that it has an initial value. And then when we run get exploit URL. No, should we? We should run it. Save it here. Self.exploit URL equals M M1. And we can return it. And let me delete this. Whoops. Whoops, control R, redo. I wanna just delete the self. Okay, so what I did was I created this instance variable, exploit URL, set it to a default of none. When we run the get exploit URL, I'm gonna set that instance variable to the value that we that we grab in regex. With that done, I can now, I have an error. So let's see where, whoops. I want control down, enter. I don't know what. Oh, somehow I pasted. Get. Okay, so let me check. That's correct. Get exploit server, that's correct. And this one just uses exploit URL. Okay. Whew. So now we can use blog.exploit URL here, and it should be. No, it won't be valid here yet because this post exploit is one runs get exploit so let's re reconfigure this a little bit we're gonna run blog dot get exploit url doesn't require any Thing. Should we return it? Uh, no, we'll just run it. This will set it. And then here we can do if um, if self.exploit URL is none, we can run it ourselves.
here, so everywhere else, because we're running it ourselves. Oh no, we don't even need to do this. What we need is what your L. We can do else. I don't like any of this. Exploit equals self dot exploit URL. That's just, that seems like garbage code there. Hackery, whatever, it should work. Now we're getting the, or setting the exploit URL into the class instance here. We can use it here and then this won't rerun that part if it's already set. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Everything looks good for me. We have requests imported but unused. Import URL. We look good. We look good to go. Open redirection. We need this and home and this. Paste. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we end up with. Uh-oh, we did not solve it. Let's check uh, proxy HTTP history, see what we did. So we posted this. Oh, we forgot the freaking F. Dang it. Kidding me? All right, let's try it again. No, dang it, again, um, this time script location equals, we have two forward slashes in that URL. Let's remove that. It's after the right here before post. I don't think that would cause the issue, but might as well get it right. No. Suck. Okay. What do we got going on? Script location equals post ID 10 and URL equals net exploit. That should redirect them when they click the back button. Do we need to... So is that exploitive vulnerability and redirect the victim to the exploit server. It doesn't say... So... Redirect equals this if return URL. Else... What, what I'm concerned about, what it's going on in my head is that it doesn't say when the client clicks the back button. So I'm checking now, is there a way that we could, well, what if we do our trick with the, no, we has to have, start has to start with HTTP and a colon. We can't use our JavaScript trick right unless yeah because it has to well it doesn't have to start with that it just has to contain it but the capture group is going to start wherever this starts oh and it has to start at the beginning because we got url so it has to be url equals and then these characters, but then anything after that can be different. So we can't do JavaScript. How do we get this? An href location.href. Well, 
Let's try the iframe. Just in case I didn't understand something there. Equals. Which, you know, is always possible. I want to go here, blog.base URL, delete until the forward slash. Let me put in the F now. And then URL will be blog.exploit URL and delete until the before the forward slash and let's try sending the second body now Okay. All right. So let's go to our study sheet real quick. We know we want uh, the sync is location.href, which email source I don't even see here. And the, the source is location right there. Why don't I see window location? Oh, it's gotta be this one, right? Because yeah, it's gotta be that one. Location. So let's look up if you're uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. It may be possible to construct a URL with the JavaScript pseudo protocol to execute arbitrary code. So can we, how would we do that? We need to inspect. All right. So we've got, uh, let's go to a post and put ampersand URL equals HTTP www.google.com. Something like that, right? Go there and let's take this, whoops, this code right here, go here and we'll paste it, I hope, and I want to do let, let. Let's do let return code. Dang it. Let return URL. And then we'll do turn URL equals. This just so I can play with this and make it easy. And then, so there's the whole regex match and there's the capture group, right? What's in between the parentheses. How do we get what's in between the parentheses to match JavaScript? I don't, with the JavaScript scheme, I don't think we can. If we put something like this, call alert. Yeah, this isn't going to be possible, right? Mm -hmm. 
but it says we don't need to. We just need to redirect the victim to the exploit server. So how do we cause the victim to either click on that or automatically go to it on click href equals hmm how do we get them to automatically click that element I don't know. We've got a redirect, right? Maybe it's because I'm redirecting them to slash exploit. What is this? To the exploit server. So what if I didn't do this exploit? Whoops. Oh, and it may be, the other issue may be because I'm doing this in Python and the detection that it's been exploited needs a browser. That may also be the issue. So let's try, let's try submitting both. So I'm gonna do blog post is solved um, do I return true on in solved is solved if solved return true so solved equals if not solved we're gonna do this again this time we're gonna do payload we'll do payload one here and payload two here. We don't need to s save this because we're not gonna run it. But this allows us to, you know, oh, it's not payload one, it's just payload. Test both at once. So what I think I may need to do is actually use like a headless browser in Python to trigger the solve. Um, let's see, I think I already have that. I need to um, run Seva, which is my shortcut for source env bin activate. Uh, to activate the virtual environment. Um, and then we want, I want pip freeze. This will show me what packages I have installed. There's Selenium. So I should be able to run the headless browser. Let's um, grep dash R Selenium and see where I use that. Should be able to exclude the dot vent. Um, grep help. How do I exclude a directory? Exclude. Um, so I can do dash s exclude. Uh, let's do this before the dash r. Dash dash exclude dot vent asterisk like that probably should quote it let's try that nope that did not work um why not it says glob that should glob that does not work it's maybe this period No. Well, crap. I don't know how to exclude a directory. Grep 
help exclude glob skip files and match glob do i need like an asterisk dot asterisk or can i just exclude dir let's do exclude dir dash dir and then dot bin Hey, there we go. XSS. I think these are the last two results. <laughs> so we didn't need to do any of what I just did, but whatever. This is what I want. So let's look up that script. That's in XSS event handlers href attributes blocked show here's where we pull it in let's try this which one we want this one so i'm gonna put these here because they are third party and then where do we use those so web driver right there we need to set up options headless driver like that Once we post now, nah. maybe we just need to visit option handler driver. Okay. So instead of using the exploit URL, Let's be our own victim. Options dot headless true driver options and then how do we driver dot get URL? Our URL is going to be URL equals F blog dot base URL post post ID equals 10 and URL equals blog dot exploit URL. So we do need to get that one. Boom. Driver dot get URL. And then I may need to click on it. Let's try this first to see if it works. And then I'll figure out how to uh, tell it to click on that, that backlink. Python, what? Oh, I'm in a different directory. CD DOM. There we go. So this just opens up a headless version of Chrome and does this. Hey, that worked. Sweet. All right. Well, awesome. So like I was saying, um, what I did was I imported Selenium and the web driver and then the options for the options. I instantiated, a, you know, a, an object of this class options. And I set headless to truce just so the window didn't pop up. And then um, I established the web driver, which I told it to use Chrome, and then set these options as its options, define the URL. And then I told the, you know, the browser, this driver, this headless driver, to go get the URL. When I did that, it meant that the... Here, that it got this page, which because of our exploit meant that this was now um, under our control. The URL that it returned to was under our control. The reason it was under our control is because of the code here, which when we made it look a little prettier, looked like this. Um, this first part was a regular expression. We can tell that because of the forward slash forward slash and then the exec here. 
that means run it. You know, this is regular expression. We're going to execute that against uh, this text, right? In the regular expression, it has these parentheses, which indicate a capture group. Inside the capture group, it started with HTTP and then S with a question mark. So whatever we put into the URL had to begin with HTTP. Um, and then it either could have S or not. That's what the question mark does. It says whatever the previous character is, it's not required, but it's okay if you have it. And then we have the colon and then two forward slashes because forward slash is a character in regex that me has a special meaning. We escape those with the backslash here. That's what those two are so that they're no longer treated as special characters and are literal just forward slashes. And then we have the dot, which means uh, any character, the plus, which means one or more of the preceding character, which is the the any character. So we got any character and then one or more of that. And then we close the capture group. So this will capture until the end. Um, boom. Once we have the regex defined, we tell it to execute that on the location. If you remember, location is, if we do type in location here, we have the full URL right? So that runs this regex on the full URL, which creates the capture group of the value of URL equals. And then we're saying if that captured something, right, then m change the directory to, to the value of the first capture group. Otherwise, um, we're going to say, or sorry, location.href, meaning location is the URL. href, location href. No, that's, sorry, in the code, return URL, lo exact location, location href. Yeah. This was all happened on the click. So that's why I didn't execute right away. That's what was confusing me. So this says that um, change the window location to the results of the regex in the first, in the index one. And if you remember when we looked at regex, and we might even have it still open. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, Index zero is everything that matched the regex. Index one is just what's in the parentheses. In other words, what's in the capture group. So we say, you know, m change locations or redirect the user to what's in the capture group. Otherwise, redirect the user to the home page, which is the forward slash. And that's it. All of this happened on a click. To exploit it, we had to, we tried a couple of different things. Number one, we tried using a script location. That did not work. We tried to use an iframe with the location. That did not work. And then we tried the headless browser, which finally triggered the, the solution. And I think that's it. I think I covered everything I should have. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.